In the vast dark ocean, sound is not just noise. It is an essential tool and, in some cases, a true weapon. Light dissipates quickly, but sound waves travel five times faster in water than in air, making it the primary sense for hunting, navigation, and communication. What you just heard is the sound produced by an animal, a vocalization that can have the power of a jet engine, the delicacy of high-precision sonar, or the intensity required to stun prey or locate itself hundreds of kilometers away. Before we embark on this epic journey into the depths, please leave a like, share this dive with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any ocean mysteries. If you were swimming alongside a sperm whale and it decided to use its voice at full force, the sound would vibrate inside your bones. At 230 decibels, it is louder than a rocket takeoff. The acoustic pressure is so violent that it could theoretically heat your body from the inside out and vibrate a human to death. But this sonic cannon is just the tip of the iceberg. This animal possesses the largest brain that has ever existed, dives where submarines are crushed, and produces a substance in its stomach that is worth more than gold. Today, we will dive into the secrets of the true Moby Dick. To truly understand the power and ingenuity of the sperm whale, you need to look at its colossal head. It is the largest single structure in the animal kingdom, occupying an incredible one-third of the whale's entire body and giving it that unmistakable square profile. Inside that skull is the spermaceti organ, a biological tank holding nearly 2,000 liters of a waxy fluid. For centuries, whalers thought this was the whale's semen, hence the incorrect name, sperm whale. In reality, this organ is an acoustic lens. It focuses sound like a laser beam in the darkness, but it has a second ingenious function, buoyancy control. The sperm whale can cool or heat this oil to change its density, allowing it to sink or rise in the ocean without moving a single flipper. It's a natural hydraulic elevator. The sperm whale does not dive for leisure. It needs this natural elevator provided by its head structure because its food resides in what we call hell, the abyssal zone of the ocean. It is the true freediving champion of the planet capable of holding its breath for over 90 minutes and descending to depths reaching 2,000 meters. Down there, in the midnight zone, the pressure is so intense that it would crush the hull of a non-specialized submarine. But the sperm whale is perfectly adapted to this hostile environment. Its secret lies in a flexible anatomy. It possesses hinged ribs that are intentionally designed to allow its lungs to fully collapse under the extreme pressure of diving, without causing damage or breakage. In addition, its circulatory system is optimized for prolonged apnea. The blood is extremely rich in myoglobin, a special protein that stores large quantities of oxygen directly in the muscles. This ensures a vital supply of oxygen during respiratory inactivity, keeping it alive and functional even after more than an hour at depths reaching 2,000 meters. It is in the crushing depths where the true epic battle takes place. The sperm whale dives not just to survive, but to hunt the legendary giant squid and possibly the even more mysterious colossal squid. In the complete darkness of the depths, the sperm whale transforms its largest organ into an acoustic weapon. It uses the concentrated energy of its spermaceti organ to emit an echolocation click that is one of the most powerful sounds in nature, reaching an incredible 230 decibels near the source. This sound is not just used to see in the darkness. It acts as a true sonic hammer. The most accepted theory 
is that this extremely powerful and directed sonic pulse is capable of temporarily stunning or disorienting the giant squid at short range. This brief moment of confusion allows the sperm whale, with its long lower jaw and robust teeth, to execute the capture and consumption of its elusive prey before it can react, ensuring success in the abyssal duel. The victory against the giant squid comes with an inevitable price for the sperm whale. Squids possess extremely hard and sharp beaks, made of chitin, a material that the whale's digestive system simply cannot digest. These indestructible beaks accumulate in the sperm whale's stomach and can occasionally severely irritate the intestinal lining. In an organic protective reaction, the whale secretes a thick, fatty substance to encapsulate these irritating beaks. This secretion, expelled by the whale and occasionally found floating in the sea, is what we know as ambergris, ambar cinzento. This historically valuable substance is concrete proof of the dangerous diet and constant duels that the sperm whale faces in the depths. To protect itself from the irritation caused by the hard, sharp beaks of the indigestible squids, the sperm whale's intestine produces a thick, fatty substance that serves to encapsulate and isolate these residues. Eventually, this mass is expelled into the ocean and that is where the magic and fortune happen. Floating on the waves, exposed to the sun and the salinity of the sea for years, this fatty secretion transforms into what is known as ambergris. This rare and unique substance is extremely valued, mainly in the luxury perfume industry, for its ability to fix fragrances and exude a complex and long-lasting aroma. Ambergris is, therefore, a valuable byproduct of the sperm whale's abyssal struggles, transforming hunting residue into one of the most coveted treasures of the ocean. But the sperm whale is not just a hunting and money machine. It is a thinker. When they are not hunting, they star in one of nature's most surreal scenes, vertical sleep. Even more fascinating is the way they rest. Using unihemispheric sleep, they shut down only half of their brain for short naps, usually 10 to 15 minutes, keeping the other half alert to detect predators or monitor the environment. And speaking of brains, theirs is the largest on the planet. Weighing up to 8 kilograms, it is approximately five times the size of the human brain, a gigantic organ that reflects the social complexity communication capability, and echolocation prowess necessary to survive in the deep ocean. This giant brain harbors deep emotional intelligence. They have regional dialects called codas. A family of sperm whales in the Pacific does not speak the same language as one in the Atlantic. Grandmothers teach their granddaughters. They have culture, grief, and identity. Literature through Herman Melville's pen in Moby Dick, immortalized the sperm whale as a vengeful and relentless monster. However, modern science has shown us something drastically different. Far from being a solitary demon, the sperm whale is a complex social architect, living in matriarchal societies with incredibly strong family bonds. It is also a genius of biological engineering with unique adaptations that allow it to dominate the most hostile environment on Earth, the abyssal zone. Indeed, the sperm whale is not a monster. It is one of the most intelligent and best adapted animals on the planet and the true guardian of the deepest secrets of the ocean, where the sunlight never reaches. The sperm whale is a force of survival. It survived the prehistoric monsters of its time, and more recently, it survived the relentless human hunting that almost drove it to extinction because of the incalculable value of its spermaceti oil. Unlike us, who are limited by the surface, the sperm whale has never been dethroned. Today, it continues to reign supreme in the deepest and most inaccessible realms of the ocean, where the pressure is crushing and the light is non-existent. It is the immortal monarch that dominates the midnight zone, a living reminder that wildlife persists and thrives where human technology barely manages to go. 
If you were amazed by the power and secrets of the sperm whale, the monarch of the abyss, the exploration journey is far from over. To continue unraveling the mysteries of deep blue secrets and dive into real legends of the ocean, subscribe to the channel right now, like this video to support our expeditions, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any secrets of the deep. And now, the challenge is yours. Tell us in the comments what other legendary marine creature you want to see in our next dive. Until the next tide.